Well, because this video isn't going to be very long, I'm going to preface it with a, uh, a tip on how to remove these tubs. Uh, one, uh, one viewer gave me a comment. Uh, uh, I can't remember what video it was on, but wondering how to remove these tubs. And the way you do it is you, you get a Whirlpool spanner wrench. I've already removed this transmission. That's the transmission that, that had the agitator stuck on it. And I need to remove this tub to change the seal. So you take a hammer. I usually use a two-pound hammer and a Whirlpool spanner wrench that you can find in the description. And you loosen it up and take this the spanner nut off. Boy, this machine is filthy. And once you get the spanner nut off, and I took the you know, splash guard off already, you hold this tub, grab it on the front, and pull up on it while you tap it on the edge. Of the tap on the edge of the, the spin block and they usually come right off. This one is in bad shape though. Anyway, that's the tip of the day. What you chewing on your tail for, Ruby? The old girl. Old girl. What's the matter with you? So anyway, I think I always preface stuff with so anyway. I have this agitator. And it's stuck on here. And it's stuck really well. Now in the past, what I've done is I've taken a bolt. And I've run it down in there. And left it out about that much and I'll take an air hammer pick up on the agitator and air hammer and that would come off but the air hammer wants to just wander all over this so what I want to do I look down to my local farm supply center and I got me a hex head bolt that would which is kind of weird because I discovered that these bolts have metric threads and SAE um, heads on I assume they do because that's a 716 works on that I might have the wrong Bold. No. See, that's 12, 13 is a little too big, and 7, 16. strip that out so what I do I usually hammer on that that must have come off of something else but anyway I went down there and I used this bolt that's my guide I wonder if I should have used a different one that way I can't come out of I need a whirlpool bolt There's one. I know that's one up there. Anyway, this, uh, I went and got a hex head hard steel M8 1.25 by 40.
Let me see. Are those the same threads? They are not. So I got the wrong threads. I got to go back. I'm work on this one because they stripped it out. This is the bolt that I need. Alright, back to the tractor supply. So I went back to the farm supply place and I got a bolt. I couldn't find a hex head bolt. With, that was hard with those threads. It'd be great if I could find a hex head bolt this size. I could probably go online and find one with those threads but I want to do this today sometime now what do I do with that here it is this bolt is a, an M8 1 by 60 metric fine pro so it's got a metric thread that fits these agitators So what I want to do is take this rascal here and weld it to this. So that I can put the air hammer on it. I have a lot of success putting a bolt back in about that far and then hammering on it as I pick up. I want one that I can bottom out into the transmission shaft and hard enough that it will take abuse but soft enough that it won't break. If I had a lathe I would take one of these and I would turn it down to the diameter and thread it where it would fit all the way down in there and have about that much gap so I'm going to weld this so I welded that bolt to here or my friend Gary did Got it as straight as we could, but what we're going to do is give this a test. Tell you what, let's run this down. You know he kept the that head on there. Let me grind that so I can get a wrench on it. So I might need. To use that that bulkhead Not pretty. Yep. I think I can get a wrench on that now. And what was what was that wrench? Hmm. Must be metric. 
or it might be a new size now. That's it. It's a 14. A 14 will work our ground on it if I have to have that. So what we're going to do basically is um, we're going to use this we're going to call this chips agitator extractor tool we want to do is get this all the way down in there as far as we can we want it to really bottom out on those inside the transmission shaft that way we won't damage the threads. It will be hitting on the shaft itself. There we go. Now let's put some air on it. And we pull up on it and hammer. Look at there. Took that rascal right up. It's out. I'm just rubbing it up and down so that what I'm going to have to do now I need to modify this thing so that I can uh, get a wrench around it up here. But what I can do, for the meantime, is just take a pair of vison grips. Vice grips. And I can That's a whole lot better and putting straps under it and jacking it and everything like that all right <laughs> now if that was a little bit straighter I'm going to modify this tool too I was talking with my friend, he said we ought to go get one of these bolts that's uh, a bit harder. But that worked perfect. I can get that agitator out now. It was stuck on there very well. I put penetrating oil, all that on it, and it was just... Uh, very difficult anyway now that we have that rascal out of there let's clean this up a little bit 
the problem with this machine is it came in and it wouldn't spin. And I took the case off and I noticed that this top seal is probably gone. Yeah, we got it clean. So, anyhow, we made this a agitator extractor tool for an air hammer by using this bolt, which this bolt is an M8-1.00 by 60. If you want to buy you one, get you an air hammer um, part that you don't usually use. And this is what I've always used this for. So I've always put these bolts back in and then hammered on them. Now the way this thing works, you run this down into the into the agitator as far as it will go. You really want to bottom it out in that transmission shaft because you don't want to be hammering these threads against threads. But once you're in there, you can put your air hammer on it, hold up on the agitator and hit down on it and it comes right out I am proud of it so that's while I'm in the tool making business uh, so in the past week I've made a um, uh, this tool and this tool and these make my life much easier But I'm going to modify these designs a lot better. If I had a lathe, I'd turn one of these out and turn threads on it. Do I have any machinist friends out there who would like to do something like that for me? I'd just give me a comment below and uh, we'll get together and uh, see how much you'd like to turn one of those out or maybe more. We could collaborate and sell them to other folks if you have a lathe and you can make one of those get back with me anyway thanks for watching another one and chip is out